Switching gears now, joining me is New York City Mayor Eric Adams. Mayor Adams, thank you for coming on the show. Uh, thank I, you. I, I, I want to get into the migrant situation and budget uh, 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 challenges, but I, I wanted to have you also to discuss a number of issues facing uh, the city. But first, though I have to ask you about uh, several items in the news related to you and to your administration. On Wednesday, a lawsuit was filed against you by a woman who says you sexually assaulted her while you both were working for the city in 1993. Uh, you said Thursday you don't recall even ever meeting the accuser. W what more can you tell us about this case, if anything, and why it's being brought if, as you say, you didn't even know the person? Uh, I, I, I don't know that. And I want to be clear, the, the law that was passed that allowed uh, a look-back period of any form of action like this, uh, I support the law. I think it should be used and not abused. Uh, I have uh, no idea, uh, you know, why this was brought forth. I don't recall ever meeting this person uh, over 30 years ago. Uh, this was uh, stated, uh, took place. Uh, and, you know, people like you who know me, I have always fought on behalf of not only women, uh, specifically, but in general, uplifting people and protecting people. I protected people for 22 years as a police officer, and I know what it is uh, to make sure that people should always receive the protection that, that they deserve. And we don't know the full scope of what this allegation is, uh, but it's going to follow it's the process, and I'm going to continue to do what I have to do to make sure the city navigates out of some challenging time. Now, there's also the FBI campaign finance investigation. Federal authorities have this month raided the homes of your chief fundraiser, as well as another aide, and seized several of your electronic devices. The probe is reportedly looking at whether a Turkish uh, consulate building may have been approved improperly. You said you are cooperating with investigators and haven't been accused of any wrongdoing. Uh, but for city residents who are concerned about corruption and who have read stories about your past trips to Turkey and have questions, what is your message to them right now, Mr. Mayor? Well, I've, I've, I've been consistent on one thing, uh, Reverend Sharpton, to my team. Number one, we participate in all investigation and we follow the law. We follow the rules. Uh, you know, as I stated, as a former law enforcement person, I know what it is to follow the rules and follow the law. And I'm telling uh, my team to do that. We want the same thing that the SDNY, the Southern District wants, is to find out exactly uh, what took, took place. And people point to the number of trips to Turkey. Uh, I traveled to Africa seven or eight times. South America, Central America, uh, to China. Uh, New York City is an international city, and we have some of the largest population of the various uh, diasporas of all of these various groups. And I try to make it clear that we're a welcoming city, and we want to have these international uh, relationships. The United Nations sits in uh, the off the East River of this city, and that's the role I have as the mayor of the city of New York. Uh, so we're going to be as uh, cooperative as possible uh, to give any information that is needed. Uh, I continue to tell my team to cooperate and follow the, the rules in the law, and that's what we're doing. Now, switching gears, I, I was honored to have you join us on Thursday at Nash Action Network's House of Justice in Harlem to serve Thanksgiving meals to the needy. And uh, you've been there just about every year of Nash Action Network, about 31 years, and you've certainly been there and on Christmas since you've been mayor. But the thing that was different this year, a number of migrant refugees seeking shelter in our city right now, and you've been very vocal about the dire situation that large U.S. cities face as temperatures drop and shelters are full. Many of these migrants are coming from climates that they certainly are not ready for winter here or in uh, Chicago or, or other places. What needs to happen right now to address this issue, Mr. Mayor? And you, and, you know, as uh, you're right, uh, as I joined the National Ash Action Network and others uh, on Thanksgiving Day, uh, throughout the week, on Wednesdays, I'm out giving our food uh 
every Wednesday, just about from th- on 34th Street. But we also travel throughout the city. And uh, your analysis is a, is a correct one. Uh, as I saw the faces of people, I saw different groups, people coming from West Africa, from South and Central America, um, Russian-speaking locations all coming through our uh, southern border and making their way uh, to New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, Houston, and other uh, municipalities. And as you're seeing, what's playing out in Massachusetts right now, where they basically stated they have no more room. We've over, opened over 210 what we call humanitarian relief uh, centers, uh, several uh, different of uh, various uh, shelter system, even open a large uh, a herc uh, in uh, on Floyd Bennett Field. This is going to cost us $5 billion during this fiscal year, $7 billion we need to find in January. And it's economically uh, not sustainable, and the place is not sustainable. In other cities, people are sleeping in precincts, in hospitals, sleeping on the streets. Uh, We must come up with a real decompression strategy and ensure uh, that we can use the over 108,000 different cities, towns, villages, and municipalities to spread this problem across the entire country and not just in uh, certain cities. It is not sustainable. It's unfair to the migrants, and it's unfair to uh, New Yorkers, taxpayers in the city. Yeah, I, I saw an article in the New York Times just the last couple of days that there's been thousands of uh, migrants coming in from China that uh, come through South America. Uh, so it's not just as easy as just trying to hit at one nationality as some uh, people, uh, uh, for their own biased reasons, want to do. But, but you're taking heat, as other mayors are, uh, for budget cuts that you have to propose earlier, and you did earlier this month, cutting spending at every city agency and even closing libraries on Sundays. You've talked about the cost of caring for migrants and the need for more federal help. But what do you say to critics who argue your cuts to social spending in particular will only make it worse uh, for the problems of homelessness and crime that you're trying to address? Could the cuts be done differently than what you've laid out, and what could the federal government do to help you and other mayors? And and I joined them. I know New Yorkers are angry. I know migrants are angry. They want to work. They have called uh, for the opportunity to work in our city, in our state, in our country, where we have a large number of jobs that are available. Uh, This is not the type of budget I want. Uh, I want a budget where I am investing in children and families and clean streets and making sure we continue to get the success that we're seeing in decreasing crime in this city. Homicides and shootings are down in double digit. In our transit system, you're seeing 4 million riders uh, peeking out back on our system. This is not the budget I want, and I respect the fact that New Yorkers are angry. angry. But by law, I have to balance a budget two years out. And the November plan that was a readjustment was the realization that the numbers we put in place uh, last uh, at the beginning of the year, last year, uh, was not uh, really fitting of what the costs were actually going to be. And so by law, I'm required to balance the budget. And when you're looking at roughly 33 billion dollars is really what we have discretion on of the money has to come from somewhere so we're seeing a perfect storm we're seeing the sunsetting of the covid dollars that we receive we're seeing uh, union contracts that had to be settled many union members were gone without contracts and then we're seeing the migrant co- crises and we're not recovering financially as fast as we want so the team is doing a great job of trying to minimize the pain uh, but this is the reality that we're face if we don't get the help from the national government that we deserve. Mayor Eric Adams, thank you for being on Politics Nation with me tonight. Thank you very much. 